then um, in Cameroon, uh, a radio corporation, a local radio, one of the, 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 the managers there, I think, was moving about and he saw one of the, the, the new posters and uh, the phone number of uh, Amos there, who is, uh, who is putting them up. It's like uh, the, the point man there for, for Cameroon. Then she, they called him and told him, invited him to the radio, that he could come and uh, give a uh, talk about uh, the new presentation, what it is and all the like. So he wrote to me, you know, and we are still going to plan it very well. I told him just to hold on because it's, uh, it was December uh, time and uh, this all this Christmas thing, a new year, then he traveled to his hometown. So when he comes back, then we're going to plan this uh, series of uh, talks that he will, he will give at the local radio station, the interviews, do some interviews and all the like, put our heads together. So it was just, uh, I, I, I narrate this in order to, to show you how People could be interested, you know, uh, the new presentation is going to rather, I don't know what, what to say, present itself you know, without some too much pushing. See, look at, he's been invited to the radio to come and give uh, an interview to, for an interview about the, the new presentation. And uh, it just comes from a poster, not that he went there by himself, they called him. So it's very interesting, this. Can they? Uh, can this radio station? Uh, this is a radio station you're referring to, and this is where in Congo, uh, Charles? In Ca no, in Cameroon. In Cameroon, Cameroon. Uh, yeah. You know, would they be able to uh, take on Skype? You know, I'll talk to them on the show if they uh, if they could. Can you oh. give, find out? Yeah, you know, it's a general problem. Therefore, it's a connection problems. It's general. They do, I don't think they, they can have a special uh, connection that will give that will make Skype very clear, very accessible to them. So I think it's the same problem. But uh, what we want to do is uh, to plan some guided uh, interviews. So our friend, uh, our new friend, be guided on what to say, some questions and ans some questions and then answers given, and then he would. Uh, uh, they could uh, play the links, those three radio shows that the, the I did. Radio with. host to, to interview him. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, they could play. Uh, Ava will send you the three links uh, to the BBC Lance White interview uh, that we did, and they could play those on the radio show uh, as an example. Okay, that would be that would be great. Oh yeah, there's three of them. She'll send you the links one, two, and three. Uh, that would be a good idea. Uh, as an example, um, no, that sounds very, very good. Yes, there is another fellow African. I get these chats once in a while on Facebook. His name is Chima, C H I M A Ogu A. Uh, let's, excuse me, O G U. Now Chima has taken the dream. Uh, course, uh, he's read several of the books. He's been doing this a while, and he's he's not really had a lot of experience. So, uh, you know, when people tell me this, I'm kind of wondering what's going on in their personal life too. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure. Some people have a lot of karma. Some people have attitudes. Some people are doing other things also. You know, uh, I'm not sure. But anyhow, so he kept on asking me, okay, what do I do? Uh, you know. Uh, you know this and that just kept on asking me and asking me and asking me and I'd, I'd give him answers so finally uh, I, I wrote him uh, this little uh, quick paragraph I said you know uh, in 1970 I went out there when there was nobody out there and I started doing introductory lectures I uh, you know got out there in the public and I started doing uh, you know, presenting this to the public uh, when there was nobody, and this is part of the adventure. This is where we're at today. Most people are very passive, uh, and uh, there's uh, this is the activity of it. And so I told him point blank. I said, "Look, don't ask me any more questions." I said, uh, "You go out and you put together Africa." 
Uh, and I said, then you, then you come back, you know, don't ask me any more questions until you do this. And then you come back and you'll see what I'm talking about. Well, the interesting thing is the next day I see him uh, on my homepage where he has uh, on Facebook where all of a sudden he wrote this whole thing, uh, you know, uh, communicating to the Africans <laughs> about, uh, you know, et cetera, about the new presentation, everything like that. So I was, I was, I really had to chuckle. It's like, oh, wow, he just really stepped up and he just put himself out there and now he's doing it, you know. And, you know, again, it's getting out of the house. And so, um, you know, people have to decide to take on the activity, you know, like the movie Braveheart, you know, uh, you know, just like that movie uh, to where, you know, the Scots wanted to be free, but they don't sit around and talk about it at the local tavern. They go out and do it. You know, it's a matter of doing it. You know, when you have this, it's a matter of doing it and you break your own bonds. This is what most people don't understand. They try to covet this themselves or they just think, well, I just, I want to be left alone. I just blah, blah, blah. Well, uh, you know, it's like the old saying that Rolling Stone gathers no moss, but, you know, you're just going to grow old. You need to, uh, you need to become the warrior. You really do. You need to creatively move outside of yourself. You need to scare yourself. You need to risk your life. That's very real. You know, I can't say that out in the public. You know, I can say you can be the risk taker, but I cannot say you must risk your life. Uh, I cannot say that. That sounds very dastardly. But the reality is, is that uh, you have nothing else. You're just growing old. That's real. That's very real. Every day that goes by, and all of a sudden, especially those that uh, are in their 50s and 60s and whatever, all of a sudden they're looking in the mirror. You're just growing old and fossilized. You must take the risk. You must risk your life. And so uh, I know that a lot of people are afraid. They're afraid of what others will think of them. Well, you know, you have to break your own barriers. You have to get through your own fears. And if those fears are there, then you you are restricted and locked in you have to get to the point where there are no restrictions at all so uh, again as this is presented to the public you see certain people that they just move out it's like I don't care it's like they walk outside totally naked it's like let everybody see me and this is where in the real side experiences many times you'll have uh, a dream or real side experience where you're naked and you're walking amongst people that's because you're fully exposed you see like little kids they they walk around naked they don't care but adults because they've become so conditioned and restricted they do care this is where the identity of clothes uh, equals certain things and it really equals restrictions is what it does so they identify with certain you know, that's where in the dream also it'll show certain clothes or certain outfits. It shows certain restrictions that the individual chooses. So, again, it's not that a person has to do anything. You don't have to do anything. We're just showing you how to free yourself. But if you don't want to, then you stay the same. But you must risk your life. That's very, very real. But, again, that will be misinterpreted because uh, the deceptors, the dark force, they will take anything like that. You know, it's like lawyers. When you talk to a lawyer and they interrogate you, you know, they're very clever. They think in their minds. I know how they are. And that is, is that they work both sides. So this is why, for the most part, they like you to say yes and no answers because they can work that very easily. When you start explaining things, then they have to, you know, creatively try and figure out how to work both sides from that, you see? And, uh, you know, a good way to deal with them many times is, uh, and I, I remember seeing this with Reagan, uh, that little crafty guy, that crafty Illuminati uh, Nazi, uh, President Reagan, when he was on the witness stand, he just kind of casually, you know, looked around and goes, oh, I don't remember. That's a good one. You see, that's not a yes or a no. So, again, uh, you know, this... You see what is taking place here with everybody. You know, the person wants it, 
but they really must move out of themselves to activate this. You must activate this on your own. You must do something. Let the world see you. They're going to attack you, that's for sure. But they're going to attack you anyhow. You're going to be eaten anyhow. So, again, uh, so you may as well prepare, you know, like the old Boy Scout motto, uh, be prepared. You may as well start preparing for your defense because they're going to come and get you anyhow. That's just how this is. This is human farming. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, do you know him, Ch uh, Chima Ogu? Do you know him, Charles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know oh, him. Oh, okay. In okay. Fact, yeah, uh, it's interesting that he communicated with you. Uh, he was communicating with you, asking so many questions. When he hooked up with me, that was the same thing. He bombarded me with so many questions, asked so many things. I, I thought he was just new, so I had the patience to answer everything until he had no, he had nothing more to ask. He had nothing more to ask, and. Uh, uh, it's uh, really nice that he, he stepped up and started doing something. And uh, it's the same thing I told Amos back in Cameroon. I, I told him, uh, you are the front man there and uh, you must act. All the, the, the eyes of the, 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 the guides are looking at you and you must do something here. So it's good you're, you're, you will send this... Uh, these three interviews, they will be aired at maybe on three uh, different occasions and then we are going to, to, to pay for them to be aired because the radio also makes some money and uh, that, will be, that will be great because they will have a reason to, 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 to air the, 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 the talk and uh, maybe on three Sundays or as many times as as we want. Yeah, and uh, in fact, since joining the, the new presentation, I've been confronted with a lot of French speakers. Uh, my knowledge of French was about to completely die out and uh, it's gradually been re uh, uh, revamped with my uh, new presentation uh, activity. I find myself answering so many questions, communicating with them in uh, in, in French. In fact, uh, Eva just uh, awakened me to the fact that there's a Google trans, trans, translator uh, up there, and I'm using it. it. It doesn't do a perfect job, but then I can see the sentence structure, the, the, the grammar, I correct it, the one I... Uh, uh, I can, so that it makes uh, perfect sense, and then I, I, I reply. I type in English, and then it comes out in French. I correct the French again before I, I use it for, for, for the replies. So it's really, really interesting how uh, the new presentation is helping my French in this way. At, at first, I had no incentive to, to to, to use French for anything because first Cameroon the French uh, speakers are very oppressive and that's why we, we are running away from the country and uh, I think uh, was it yesterday or two days ago I answered a question on the uh, <clears throat> on one of the French uh, forums there uh, Congo in Congo I don't know, it's created by Wild Wind. Whether he's in Congo or where, I don't, I don't, I have not, I don't yet know. I asked him, but he has not yet replied me. So I wrote there uh, about the, 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 the importance of the of the new sound. And uh, oh, uh, this uh, former actress, uh, Mariam, whose dream I, dream vision I narrated, and one other lady, that, uh, that left, that was formerly in Ek, who uh, just embraced the new presentation from the first encounter. They read it, she wrote to me today, said, what I wrote was very interesting, and they're beginning to see 
uh, how the, the, the new works on all the levels of life. Because I told them, well, Dwayne will not go into the, to the minute uh, details of how the new works and all the like. It's looking at the overall picture. So, but if you want to break it down into the various uh, parts, this is what you can say for this one, for this one. See, but it's the overall picture, what the new does, not uh, not looking at the, the, the various pieces, you know. So, but I took one piece there, and I and I, I, I talked about it, and they were very convinced, and they saw that it was true. So, and it's surprising to me that I wrote that lengthily in French. So, it's something beginning to think that maybe one day I could try some translation. Something I uh, said I would, I would rather not do because I'm not confident that uh, maybe I would have to take up my French books again. So that's how far the, the new presentation is pushing us. Well, you're very needed there, uh, Charles. You're very good. And, uh, you know, again, you're an educator. So uh, this is where you're going to self teach yourself French. Uh, because it is very, very needed. Ava gets, uh, you know, quite a few calls with the French, and, you know, it's a lot for her to sit and try and translate. You know, we can do certain things, but, uh, you know, that becomes a lot for her uh, because she's already German to English, okay? And so then translating other languages, too, that's a heavy burden, and Ava does a lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're here for people, and uh, you, you notice the corporation and other places like that uh, that people belong to you don't get to communicate with them uh, especially Africa you know you might get a form letter uh, months later you know that's about what you get uh, so the whole idea is be the member pay your dues and then shut up uh, so again uh, you know what we're providing is huge here mm -hmm.